this has arrived today and this is a very special and unique instrument and when I say unique I mean unique because at the moment this is the only one of these bases in existence. So over the last few years, I've been trying to find out if you can make a super lightweight six string bass. And I've talked to a number of bass manufacturers and custom bass builders as well about how light can you make a bass? You know, will the lightness affect things like playability? Will it affect the tone? Will you lose a lot of low end? Um, all of these kind of questions that I wanted to find out. And to be honest, I've come up against a lot of dead ends. So discovering this bass has been a real discovery for me. Now. I've known about the Sandberg super light basses for quite some time, but they only offer them in four and five string models. When I was doing some more research online about lightweight six string basses, I came up on the site Bass Direct, which many of you might be familiar with. They are, I think they're an official uh, distributor of Sandberg basses. I came across this bass, which was advertised as a super light six string bass. So I obviously emailed them and said, what's the story with this super lightweight six string bass that you're offering? I thought Sandberg only did four and five string. Um, and it turns out that this is currently, as I shoot this video, the only one of these bases in existence. So this has the Paulonia body, just like the super lightweight four and five string bases. Now I have to be honest, I didn't know anything about Paulonia when I first heard about these super light bases, so I had to do some research. Um, and it turns out that Paulonia is a very, very lightweight, but very strong wood, which comes from Southeast Asia. It gets used for stuff like uh, making wooden fixtures and fittings in aircraft where they need very lightweight wood. Um, it grows very fast, so it's very sustainable. Um, and yeah, I've, I've not come across many musical instruments made out of uh, Paulonia, I've got to be honest with you, only these Sandberg super light basses. it is really really light it's really light it's not just light by the standards of a six string bass it's light by the standard of any bass I mean I have on here on the wall behind me I have a four string Warwick Corvette um, noticeably heavier noticeably heavier um, this is a, a semi hollow Warwick star bass um, and even being semi hollow it's still significantly heavier than this six string bass uh, even my Sire Marcus Miller bass four string fretless noticeably heavier than this so it really really is light um, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly why there's only one of these in existence I have spoken to Bass Direct about it I've also sent an email to Sandberg which I haven't had a reply to yet we want to know are they going to build more of these in future that's a really big question and that's one of the things that I ask in my email so I'm waiting for a response on that if there is any update I will put it on my website so there's a link in the description below the video so check out that and as soon as I get any update on whether or not there's going to be more of these things planned in the future uh, and how you get hold of them then uh, then keep checking that and I will update that as soon as I know but anyway the base itself has the Paulonia body obviously it has a maple fretboard maple neck um, it's got two truss rods um, obviously it's a J style base here we've got two single coil pickups um, you know a la just like a Fender Jazz bass I suppose but six string um, 22 frets so we're kind of halfway in between I suppose the standard 20 that you would get on a Fender Jazz bass and I suppose the standard 24 that you would get on most six string basses um, the controls here I think are fairly standard for uh, Sandberg basses so we've got an active bass with uh, so this control at the bottom is the bass boost and then we've got a treble boost there which are your active controls you've got a pickup blend and volume 
Um, now the volume control is push pull, and when you pull it out, you have it's it turn, it just turns off the preamp, so you've got a passive bass effectively. And one clever thing that these Sandberg basses do, and again, I think this is typical of most of the Sandberg basses, is that the treble control, this control, which is the treble when you're playing it active, suddenly becomes a passive tone control when you're playing it passive. I should say before I start playing, I'm playing through a, a Mark bass Marcus Miller head. Um, and I'm, I'm mic'd up the cab here with an EV RE20 microphone and I'm also taking a line out of the back of the head as well so I'll probably blend those two together. So that's the sound that you're hearing. Both pickups are on, the volume is up at full. So let's have a listen to how she sounds. What's the tone like across the whole range of the bass? So a really nice even sound across the whole bass and that's just with everything set flat. Now let's have a go and listen in passive mode. So if I switch it onto the back pickup now. And the front pickup. Now, what about with the tone rolled off? So if I go back onto that back pickup again, take the tone down. And on the front pickup. And both pickups together with the tone rolled off. And right, let's try some active tones now. So if we uh, if we put that uh, t active back on, let's try boosting the bass. So boosting the low end. So first of all, just with everything set flat. Now boost that bass a little bit. Hopefully this is not going to clip, it might do. That's a hard thing to put across in a in a, in a video, um, but that really did significantly increase the amount of bass in the room. And that was only to about three quarters, so it can really give you some serious bottom end if you want it to. If I dip that down to about a quarter, Thank you. 
Back into the middle. Now the treble boost with the high end boosted. So yep, that's that. And if I dip it, so I take the, the high end away. So let's try some slap bass tones now. So I'm, I'm on active, um, both treble and bass are in the middle. Uh, both pickups are on, volume's at full. So if I boost the treble and the bass just a little bit to give it that kind of scooped sound. So yeah, some nice slap tones there. If I go the other way and dip the, the bass and the treble to give it a bit more of a kind of mid sound. Uh, let's put it on the back pickup for that as well. So. I have to say, this is the first day of playing this bass, so it's really new to me, but I have to say I'm extremely impressed by just the evenness of tone across the whole range. So yeah, the next question I suppose is playability. So if the uh, you know if the sound is good, if it's got a nice even sound across its its range, then um, what about what about the balance of the bass? Because this is a big thing. You've got two truss rods in the neck, and you've got a super lightweight body. Does this mean that the neck is going to dive? Right? Because neck dive is a really common problem with six string basses generally. Having a super light Paulonia body seems to me is highly likely to make that worse. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But this is another thing I've been really impressed by. I'm going to try standing up here to show you how this balances on the strap. Uh, hopefully this will keep, still keep in shot if I have to move the, uh, just move the camera a little bit so you can see that. Um, right, so this is how it balances. Now that is pretty impressive for a six string bass generally, let alone one which is as light as this. So the neck is facing upwards, which we want. And the fact is that the bass is so light that I'm not, you know, it's, I don't have to fight to keep it in a comfortable position to play. So it's it's really surprisingly well balanced, I have to say, for a bass of, uh, you know, that is as light as this. Uh, it really does balance well. Um, and I have to say, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Um, you know, I, you know, throughout my 20s, I used to gig with six string basses all the time. But in, in recent years, I've developed, you know, back pain, as people do when they get older. And um, yeah, I've, you know, it almost stopped me from taking six string basses out on gigs because it got to the point where sometimes if I was playing for two or three hours, um, just the back pain during the gig while I was actually playing would become, you know, almost unmanageable. But this for me is a game changer. Like this, I can take this out and this is super light and I'm gonna be able to use this and it sounds good. So the really important question now is why is this the only one? This proves that really good lightweight six string basses are possible. And there, you know, there should be more of them because I can't be the only six string bass player in the world with a bad back who needs a super lightweight six string bass that balances well and sounds great. 
uh, and that's what this thing does so hopefully I will find out some information on that very very soon maybe if you're watching in the future there already are plenty more of these who knows let's uh, let's see what happens so it's my first day of owning it so it's really really early days but I have to say I think this is going to be a game changer for me it is a super light six string bass mm -hmm.